All right, what's up, everybody? This is Original Dunk Five One Four, and I'm going to show you how to make a reverse track and or a song. So yeah, let's get started. So you're gonna need iMovie and GarageBand to make your song, unless you're taking something that's already in iTunes. So you're gonna need a picture first once you've got iMovie up because you need to make a movie to do this. So, I just picked a random picture of a blimp. So, uh, yeah, I'll pick this song. It's a good, uh, I've tried it before with this song, it's good to use. So, all right, so here we have our audio and our clip. You're gonna, uh, I already had the um, picture preset to the time of the song, but you're gonna wanna pick the, the time, or, put the time in to make them both even. So the first step you're going to want to do is make this audio and this clip one whole movie. So to do that, you go to share, export movie, and you know, do medium large HD. So I'll do Alright. Oh yeah, to to really get it to work to work, you're gonna need to do medium or higher. Because I kept trying it with tiny and it just doesn't work, so you're gonna need to do medium or higher. I will cut this loading time out and I will see you in a couple minutes. Alright, so once you've exported it as a movie, you are going to want to um, import it back as an event. So, do that. You're going to want to go to Import, Movies, and find your, uh, find your the movie you made. You're probably going to want to make a new event, and uh, yeah. So you don't want to do that and import it. I already imported it. So you can skip over that. You're just gonna hit import and it'll load up pretty fast. So now we have our movie. It's one full thing. Just a picture. Just a picture of the movie. So you don't need this anymore. And you're gonna wanna drag all of this up on up uh into the project area or depending on how much of the song you want you drag up there so see it's all one movie there's no audio track and no clip so now we're gonna make it backwards clip adjustments and speed you're gonna click on convert entire clip and it will convert clip so you can use it and you can change the speed of it you can make it slower faster and you can make it uh, you know be able to go backwards so that's what we're going to do okay so now you've converted the clip to be able to uh, change the speed and all this and you obviously see this direction in reverse just check that it done. It will load up, and you should have it reversed. Let's see. There you go. So here's the original song. Now here's the song we just made with this. Oops. So uh, yeah, I mean that's the whole process of it. If you want to, um, which you're probably gonna want to do, if you're doing uh, reversing a solo. 
if you want to bring it over to GarageBand down here, you're going to want to go Share, Mobile Me Gallery. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, no, 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 it's not Mobile Me. It's, um, my bad, it's Media Browser. And you're going to want to publish it to that. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but, uh, yeah, pick whatever you want there. And, um, then you can open up GarageBand and you can put it onto the, into a song you're already doing. It is cut right now. Okay, so once you've opened the GarageBand, here's what you do to get your track onto the, the track thing here. So you're going to want to go to this icon down here, bottom right. See how it says, it says uh, Media Browser? And you're going to want to bring the movie and bring it over here. Uh, yeah, you just, you know, find it, find it and all this, and the movie thing, and drag it up, that's it, and match it to what you want. So yeah, you just have mine here, drag it down, and it will load up, and you'll have it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, check out the rest of my videos if you want. And uh, yeah, and yeah, cool. See you guys. Bye.